Good morning, boys and girls. Today is April 15, 2020. Welcome back. Our word of the day is colloque. I want you to think about colloque. It's a verb. I want you to think about it as you're telling somebody a secret, okay? Our sentence would be, when you're alone, I need to colloque with you. So you're going to tell them a secret, right? Um, if you have a secret plant, you might colloque with your conspirators, right? Hmm, I hope it's a nice secret that you're going to share with somebody, okay? Um, so, what are you guys going to be doing for today? You are going to reread Wreck of the Titanic. Remember, you can always look at the book in, uh, with your login on Pearson Realize, okay? I just put a video if you don't want to um, read or go to pierce and realize I put the video for you as well so it reads to you I'm going to go over the first read questions the one we did yesterday you are going to answer the second read questions for today you're gonna see them in the next slide you're going to choose a writing prompt from the April menu again boys and girls try to make sure that when you are choosing a writing prompt okay you're not choosing the same one I gave you a menu it does not have to be the one for that day. Like, it doesn't have to be the one for today, April 15th. Pick one from any of the, the days, okay? The one that you feel that you want to write the most, go ahead, and do, go ahead and choose that one. I don't mind, boys and girls, okay? If you want, make sure you draw that picture that goes with that writing. That would be great. It's just in, um, another fun way to express you know, our, our writing, okay, right? To go with our writing. You are going to complete an activity on vocabulary spelling city, okay? And you're also going to complete your 15 minutes of I ready. Remember, I ready is going to be our new way to take attendance. So make sure you have those 10 minutes each day, okay? It is okay. If you did 30 by today, you're fine. If you did more than 30, it's okay as well, okay? Make sure that you look at those um, assigned lessons for the red for the I ready as well, boys and girls. Every Wednesday, I'm going to you're gonna have to do some assigned lessons from me. Okay, make sure you do that. You you do that. I'm sorry, boys and girls. You don't have to turn them in on all the way till Sunday. So you have from Wednesday to Sunday to turn them in. Okay. So make sure you do those. It's going to be counted as your grade as well. For today, you will need your computer, your Pearson username and password if you want to go and read that story on the, uh, on, on the website. It's fine with me. I also gave you that video, remember? And you're going to need your tablet. If you have a tablet or a computer, it's fine. And your journals. Remember, you need your journals. For social studies today, you're going to be doing... Um, week 22 again, you're going to reread what the, what does the term mad as a hater mean and John Wesley Powell. Make sure you answer those comprehension questions on the bottom, okay? First read questions, I'm going to go over them. What conclusions can be drawn by examining the timeline on page 206, 207? So if I look at the timeline, if I'm examining that timeline, I can see that the Titanic hit the iceberg and took about two and a half hours to sink. Okay, so ever since it started to the end, it took two and a half hours to sink. So since that moment that it hit the iceberg. Use the timeline on page 207 to find out when the Titanic hit an iceberg. The Titanic hit an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. on April 14, 1912. So, at the exact time was 11.40 was the exact time that the Titanic hit the iceberg. What can you infer from the details? Remember, to infer is you're making a conclusion. You're drawing a conclusion based on your background knowledge. So, the Titanic was the largest ship in the world and that many rich and famous people were on board. Um, so a lot of famous people were on board this ship. Obviously, it was very um, luxur luxurious. I can also infer that many people wanted to sail on this ship. The wreck must have been a very meaningful event, boys and girls. So we're still talking about the Titanic, so we know it was a very significant event. 
What can you infer from the phrase two few lifeboats? Well, I talked a little bit about it yesterday, but I can infer that whoever planned this trip may have believed that the Titanic was so safe and the passengers wouldn't need any lifeboats. And that's why they just put few lifeboats, right? And that's why so many people lost their lives. Um, what can you infer about the boarding of the lifeboats on page 210? I can infer that no one planned for emergency and not as many people were saved as could have been. Finally, but not least, how does the photo on page 213 help explain the story about Willie and Neville? Well, if you look at the boy in the hat, that definitely must be Willie because his face looked young, right? But he was very tall and very, very serious and that's why it kept confusing us, right? But this is, uh, but that's Willie, the one in that picture, okay? The boy with the, the one that is very, that looks very tall and serious. Well, boys and girls, your second read questions are over here. So make sure that you answer them. I'm going to go over them tomorrow. I hope that you guys do really well today. I hope that this has, this gives you a little bit more explanation on what you guys um, have to do. Remember, I'm here to um, for you. If you need me, email me. Boys and girls, I miss you so much. I wish we can go back as soon as possible. But right now, this is the way we're going to keep working. So please make sure you do all your work. And if you have any questions, you email me. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.